Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Uniquely Divine LLC, and I have already grounded my energy, saged my cards, and my space to be able to give you guys the best energetic messages. I do not own the rights to the music in the background that is Pandora playing. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. Okay, so I'm going to be using the cards that I have wrote out. I even created a names deck. I got the um, um, ideal from a, a former... Well, she's not a former because she's still... I got it from a tarot card reader, one of my favorite readers. Her name is Goddess Queen. Uh, just me 23 I believe is her name but I did not do it to like jock her style I did it to add my own twist and to be able to give you guys more accurate you know messages okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this tarot tea I don't feel well um so you know my voice is kind of different <laughs> All right, I'm outside, so anything that happens in my background, I cannot control. So I'm just going to use it as a synchronicity because everything is a synchronicity when you're aware of them, okay? But somebody here is too cocky or someone that you're dealing with feels like that you are too cocky. Somebody feels like you got them twisted or you feel like someone has you twisted. Okay. Somebody here is going to be marrying into wealth. But someone here needs to know that they are on a failed mission. Or they have failed a mission. Okay. Lies, lies, and more lies. It's because this person was trying to manipulate you. Okay. And they couldn't keep up with all of their lies. They had to tell one lie and they ended up having to tell more lies to cover up that one lie okay but spirit wants you to know that time waits for no one okay so just know that if you are being manipulative to a person and you have them waiting on you know that spirit will reward this person with somebody better or different because you were manipulating them somebody counted you out you guys and they felt like you were acting funny or these people were acting funny towards you okay somebody here is in an abusive relationship and abusive relationship is not always physical abuse um abuse can be mentally it doesn't always have to be physically you can also verb verbally abuse someone as well so just to throw that out there Someone here has hidden motives towards you, or this is your energy. You have hidden motives towards someone. Clear, honest, and accurate message of spirit. Mm -mm, okay. Somebody here has anger issues. It could be you or your person, or it could be that your child or your family member has anger issues oh my okay well I'm gonna grab the first card I see cuz a lot fell you're gonna have a clearer vision about some things and some people in your life spirit is going to catapult you into the spotlight okay and that's going to be you know the issue I guess because a lot of people don't realize that they do a lot of different things towards people and these people are chosen and they don't realize that until it's too late okay someone here has a karmic brother which means this brother could be jealous of you for you know maybe you are in the spotlight and this person is always in their lower vibrational energy excuse me Sorry about that. That's scam likely. So somebody here is getting a lot of um, scam likely calls. But somebody definitely is about to get caught in action. Okay. 
because someone was deceiving you to connect to someone else, okay? Somebody is walking in on the action, okay? So this could be somebody cheating and you walking in and catching them. Or this could be somebody doing something against you and you walking in and catching them or talking about you. Either way, just take the energy how it resonates, okay? Because not all messages resonate for everyone, Oh my, calling CPS for revenge. Somebody is definitely or has definitely called um, CPS on you, especially if you're a woman, okay? You could have a karmic friend, okay? But somebody is going to change the locks. They're planning to change the locks on you, or you're planning to change the locks on someone. Oh my, someone had sex with you while you were passed out. Or this could have happened in the past because tarot is past, present, or future. So you just have to know and use your intuition to know if a message is happening for you or has happened to you, okay? But somebody here is definitely going to be in a, involved in a drug deal gone bad. You guys be careful out here because people will set you up, especially if you're dealing with somebody that they dealt with. Or, you know, this could be an ex. Somebody wants to know, are you that somebody? They didn't, they was wondering if they let this go. You know, would it come back? Clear, honest, and accurate messages, spirit. Okay. Yep. Somebody mistook you for a dummy. Um, this is for all signs, no matter your placements, okay? So somebody mistook you for um, a dummy, and they're also using someone close to you to get information about you. Okay, so say, for instance, you cut off your family members, but a certain family member that you still deal with is still communicating with these people. They're, you know, getting information from that person. Or if it's a friend group and you no longer communicate with certain people, it's them that is um, informing this person about your business. Okay. Somebody feels like you're very um, seductive. Okay. But someone here has high-ranked connections. And this is um, what is um, happening in the background. They're manipulating you with their um, connections, okay? So say, for instance, this person um, said that they were pregnant and they really weren't. They know a nurse that can, you know, change the paperwork to say that they really are pregnant. Well, that's what I was getting, but that's not always, you know, the case. So this is just an example, okay? But spirit or this person is telling you that it's now or never, okay? So be very cautious with people so that you don't miss opportunities with the right um, people or places or things. Because people can pur purposely throw you off of your game because they see that, you know, you have things going for yourself. Somebody here is trying to surprise you. So maybe this is why they're in a manipulative energy. They're not trying to deceive you. They're just trying to surprise you. It could be your boyfriend. It could be a friend, a friend or a family member. It could also be a co-worker. Somebody is playing it safe. Okay, baking cookies, brownies, cakes, or pies. So somebody really enjoys spending time with their children or, you know, stepchildren. It doesn't always have to be, you know, an actual parent. Because anytime I bring up a parent, it could be the stepmom or the stepdad, step uncle, step auntie, step children. Like, like I said stepchildren, I already said that. But like step um, family or family in laws, rather. Okay. But somebody here wants to get even, okay? This was their plan from the beginning. They wanted to get even with you, okay? This person or you could feel so lonely, and this is probably a part of the plan. They want you to feel lonely, but know that you are never alone, okay? Clear, honest, and accurate messages, spirit, okay? 
Oh my, it's a lot down here. I didn't even see. Oh my. Okay, we're going to get into this. Let me put this deck down. Excuse me. Somebody wears glasses or they need to get glasses, okay? But somebody definitely was um, celebrating a false victory, okay? Somebody is scared of your reaction, okay? Like I said, somebody could be trying to surprise you. Or this is somebody that needs to get some things off of their chest and they're scared of your reaction, okay? Somebody is under oath or took an oath. <laughs> but somebody needs to know that you have a high school hater in your mix. That's funny. I'm going to go ahead and get into um, a new deck that I created over the weekend. This is really juicy. I love this deck. This is like the best deck I've ever created. So yeah, we're just going to get some juice or some tea or whatever you guys drink. <laughs> Could be whiskey, who knows? 11 11 on the clock. Clear, honest, and accurate messages, spirit for my collective. Somebody wants you to be the one for them. Okay, somebody feels like if we have children, we're in this for life. So they felt like by manipulating you to have children by them, that you know, they could keep you forever, but this person or you is even, in, is even questioning who the father is, because this says, I don't know who the father is, and this color is blue, so it's a masculine energy, or it could be a feminine in her masculine energy, so this person could be scared of being lonely, oh no. You're the only woman that has challenged me to be better is the next card out. So this masculine is letting you know that all the other people were just comfortable in the bullshit. And you challenged this person. You was not going to put up with their shit. And they see that, okay? And that's why they want to build on a solid foundation. So somebody is wanting to build a solid foundation with you, rather if it's in business or in love. Somebody here is seeking answers, clarity, or closure, okay? But closure is a scam. You can give closure to yourself, okay? I plan to take you down with me. If I go down, everybody goes down. So this could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or anything of that sort. But somebody wants you to know that if they go down, so are you, okay? Oh my, desperate attempts to keep the masculine feminine energy somebody here was um desperately doing things to try to trap a masculine into a situation okay and somebody um i hooked you up with ill intent so somebody hooked you up with a masculine or a feminine but it was with ill intent so say this person knew that this person was a hoe or this person knew that this person was a child molester or this person knew that this person had a std they purposely hooked you up with this person with ill intent okay i post to make the divine feminine mad or jealous okay so you have a karmic that is um that know who you are and they're trying to emotionally um manipulate you they could be posting things that are not really you know true say for instance that they are broke up they as in the karmic and your masculine okay they broke up but this person purposely posts to make you question it okay i want to think like act like and look like the divine feminine or divine masculine hmm interesting and the next card out is i wasn't aware of my power so some of you are um you know getting to know yourself in different ways and you weren't aware of how powerful you really are and you are now stepping into your power clear honest and accurate messages spirit I doubt it I'd ever be caught is the next card out. So this feminine or this masculine 
really doubt it that they would ever be caught, okay? In whatever it is that they're doing, rather if it's fraudulent behavior, or rather if it's trying to trap you with a baby, or, you know, anything of that sort. But a mutual friend of a mutual friend. So you have people watching you that you don't know of, 15, 15 on the clock. And maybe these people know of you because you're a friend of a friend. Mm. And as I look back, I see a karmic. Boom. Tell me my intuition don't be on it. And then you have met at a gas station. So maybe you have a lover that's meeting up with people at a gas station. Or this is just somebody meeting up with somebody, you know, probably to exchange some drugs. Who knows? But um, learn to manage your finances, Spirit is saying. Spirit wants you to learn to manage your finances so that you won't, you know, be in a sunken energy. I invested in the wrong person is out next. So this masculine knows that they invested into the wrong energy or energies. Someone is about to be dethroned. So know that. Okay? You can be dethroned spiritually. And you always, anything that happens on the, you know, physical plane, it, it has already came to pass on the physical. So if you're on the way to jail, you could already be in spiritual jail. And this is why it is going to manifest on the physical, if you understand what I'm saying. I wish I never met you is out next. So maybe this woman is wishing that she never met a masculine or this masculine is wishing that he never met um, a feminine energy. I slept with my own family member is out next. So like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a blood relative, although it could. It could just be an in-law, okay? But spirit is nudging you to leave a situation. 1717 on the clock. Oh my, that's a lot. Your energy was too strong. I had to align. So this masculine is letting you know that you were too um, sophisticated. They were used to bird brain bitches. Excuse my language, but that's what it is. I make my oldest look after all of my kids. So you are intertwined with, or this is your energy. You make your oldest look after your children, and that's not right. Because then you in tune, I mean you in turn you know, rob someone of their life, okay, and it's, you know, they can't align with what they really need to align with, because they have to look after someone else's kids, somebody here was lying about being raped, I'm lying about being raped, or this could be an energy that lied about being raped when they were a child, they said that an uncle or cousin or anything of that sort touched them, and it really wasn't that, okay, I lack motivation, so I steal ideas from others. So you have somebody that's trying to steal your ideas, okay? Oh my, child porn. Somebody is definitely into child porn. It could be a woman or a man. It could even be a family member, a pastor, a, a, a boss, anything of that sort. I'm not an option. Either you choose me or lose me is out next so this is not a feminine or masculine energy it could be either one you told this person that you're not an option and you either gonna choose me or you're gonna lose me okay and maybe this person is feeling the pressure from this you know conversation oh my deacon slept with first lady so somebody's deacon definitely slept with their first lady in their church dynamic all i know is tough love so somebody here is um, used to tough love and maybe you were more of a, a genuine touch and they weren't used to that and this caused them to treat you like you were average and you're not, okay? The energy is off with this person. You realize that this energy is off with this person, okay? 
oh my my death was staged somebody is letting somebody know that their death was staged 2002 on the clock as i said that so maybe this is a family member of yours they're letting you know that their death was staged okay they did not die from natural causes my child was molested because i worked too much is out next 2020 on the clock so maybe somebody here leaves their child with a family member or a babysitter and this in this person um what do you call it violated your child i'm ashamed of, of my actions didn't i just say that somebody is ashamed that they touched a child or they're ashamed that they slept with the first lady or anything of that sort but somebody is ashamed of their actions whatever it is and they feel like that you got them nervous or this is your energy you are nervous because of your actions it's not easy getting rid of me so this is you know a masculine or feminine energy letting you know that it's not going to be easy to get rid of them i tried to run from my karma so somebody definitely um they want to run but they can't okay i settled for less because i wasn't aware i deserved more so this could be your energy you settled with a person because you felt like that they gave you you know some type of something that other people can't give you okay oh like i said i know you but you don't know me somebody is definitely watching you for somebody oh my goodness practitioner dying for hexing a chosen one somebody about to die somebody is about to pass away mm, mm, mm. this is crazy i pray for money not healing so somebody here is um of the christian dynamic and they realize just go to church and pray for money they don't pray to heal their soul they just want money it could even be a pastor they're money driven this is you know a part of you know getting into a profession for their benefits like a tarot reader a lot of people are into a job only because they get paid well they don't really enjoy doing it it's not even a part of their life path it just brings them a lot of income Oh. Oh my. I lied about a pregnancy. So somebody here lied about a pregnancy. Yep. <laughs> somebody feels like they have to have you. Okay? Maybe this was in the past and you felt like you had to have this person, but you were not aware of some things and this person lied about a pregnancy to you. Even if they did have a baby, it's still not yours okay even if it is yours they still were cheating okay so either way you know take the energy how it resonates i was able to manipulate others by getting readings on them so somebody wants you to know that they manipulated you by getting readings on you or watching tarot okay but they want you to know that it's not over until they say it is okay that's not a good look okay I make myself sick or pretend to be sick for attention. So this person is really mentally sick. They just draw you in because they know that you, you know, got a weak spot for them. You don't have to be weak hearted. You know, you just have a weak spot for this person. And they plan to take you down with them if you allow them to. Yep, lack of confidence has kept me from living my truth. Yep, this person can't get you off of their mind. Oh, uh, karmic is going to commit suicide. So somebody here is going to commit suicide in this situation. It doesn't even have to be the exact person that did this to you. It could be somebody that's connected to them because they know what that this person is doing and they know what they have done and to play a part in this situation. Last few messages, spirit. Okay. 
I feel like a fool for not choosing you. So somebody feels like a fool because they play with your emotions and they didn't necessarily mean to um, hurt you. Oh my, cancel that chick like Nino Brown. Somebody's about to be canceled. And that was the confirmation right there because my phone just buzzed. So you about to be canceling an outer bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness. Last message is I have a jailhouse lover. So if you have a masculine that constantly goes to jail, they have a jailhouse lover. Um, and it can also be, you know, somebody that's, you know, rough and tough and stuff like that. And so they, these are the people that go to jail and rape these niggas because they real life like niggas anyway. They just get out and be with bitches because, you know, they scared to live in their truth. I'm going to go ahead and pull a few names for this um, reading for you guys. I'm going to try it out. All right. Clear. Okay. Honest and accurate messages, Spirit. Somebody name is Tammy. So all the names that I will be pulling is can be um, people that are, you know, involved in this situation. Or this is just confirmation from something that happened in the past. And Spirit is saying that this is the time for you to get your closure. Lau is out next. Somebody name is Tommy. Somebody here name is Barry. Okay, these names can be first or last names, or they can also be middle names, okay? Wilson. Gonzalez. Stewart. Flowers. Jessica. And I'm going to um, pull a few more names. So if the first and last name come out, then this is definitely your confirmation, as I already said. Okay. I like it because I did it in a, like, a mini deck. Oh, my. Uh-uh, that's too many names. Huh? But I do see David here. <laughs> I don't know any Davids, but yeah. Uh, Cootie. Your last name could be Cootie. Um, also, like I said, if I pull a name, it could be your name or, you know, the person's name, okay? Lisa. Out next. Couple of more names, Spirit. Okay, they said more than a couple. I'm gonna grab them, because, hey, all I got is time today. Somebody name is Bunny. That's a nickname. Somebody name is Vera. Somebody name is Ryan. Somebody name is Joe. Mm, child. Somebody name is Jamal. Somebody name is Nicole. Somebody name is Sarah. Somebody name is Lamont. And someone name is Aaliyah. That's the last name out. I mean, yeah, it's the last name out. So I'm going to go through these names one more time before I end the video. So it could be first or last or it could be a middle name. Okay, so the first name out is Jessica. First name. Last name Flowers. Your last name could be Flowers. Your last name could be Stewart. Gonzalez, out next. Your last name could be Gonzalez. Somebody's last name is Wilson. Somebody's last name is Barry. Somebody's last, um, first name is Tommy. Somebody's last name is Lau. Somebody's first name is Tammy. Another person's name is Aaliyah. Another person's name is Lamont. The next person is Sarah, first name. The next um, name out is Nicole. The next name out is Jamal. Somebody named Zoe. Could be um, a nickname or could be a last name. Somebody name is Ryan. It could be first or last name. Vera. Okay. Bunny. Out next. Lisa. 
last name Cootie, first or last name David. Okay, and this is the end of the message. If you like my vibe, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow my Facebook business page. It is Uniquely Divine. Thank you.